This NFL Films production is a presentation of the National Football League. In 2002, the Atlanta Falcons made the playoffs, and then they made history. What snow? It's all go <laughs> in the snow for Vic the Quick. They're awful sharp in all phases of the game. Fourth and 11 now. Here's Farr throwing downfield, and it is deflected and intercepted. Yeah! And gang, that's it. The Falcons have won the wild card game here. 27 to 7 in the snow. It really is astonishing. That's something they can't ever take away from you. Know, it's sort of like winning the Super Bowl. That football team will always be known as, hey, you know, they beat the, the Green Bay Packers, and that's the first playoff game the Green Bay Packers had ever lost in Lambeau Field. Atlanta's accomplishment marked a new beginning for a team that proved anything is possible. A beginning that started with new owner Arthur Blank, who set out to build a champion from top to bottom. You can create a special environment where players feel like they're part of something more than just a football team. Blank's team philosophy attracted free agents Todd Weiner and Warwick Dunn. The draft produced a bruising tailback, and the defense improved dramatically under Wade Phillips. <laughs> Now, with the emergence of quarterback Michael Vick, there is reason to believe in magic in Atlanta. On the hottest day ever recorded at Lambeau Field, expectations were as high as the temperature. As the day heated up, so did Warwick Dunn. Here's the pitch, Warwick Dunn, left side, trying to turn it to the outside, trying to find the end zone. Oh, That's man. a back in touchdown, Warwick oh. Dunn! What a oh. move! Lead blocking by number 44, Bob Christian, allowed Dunn to score his second touchdown. He faked out how many? Maybe seven Green Bay Packers? The Falcons racked up 21 points in the second quarter alone. Play action, and looking is Mike Vick into the end zone. Oh, by himself, Algie Crumpler. But they would need a Jay Feely field goal to send the game into overtime. And it is good! Yes! Although the Packers prevailed, Atlanta went the distance against an NFC favorite, a test that would serve them well later in the season. After a heartbreaking week two loss to Chicago, the Falcons had something to prove in a primetime matchup. In 2002, Michael Vick's favorite target was 6'5 receiver Brian Finneran. Against the Bengals, they hooked up for a pair of first half touchdowns. Cornerback Kevin Mathis, who joined the team only five days earlier, caught one of two Atlanta interceptions. Later, defensive end Brady Smith attacked the line of scrimmage. He was part of a defensive effort that kept Cincinnati out of the end zone. Their performance was a landmark for new defensive coordinator Wade Phillips, who scrapped the 4-3 defense in favor of the more aggressive 3-4. His decision paid immediate dividends. What he meant to our defense, I mean, to go from where we had ranked the year before to the things that we accomplished last year was just an unbelievable coaching job by Wade. The new approach took advantage of the Falcons' speed, resulting in 47 sacks, the second highest total in team history. Applying the pressure were linebackers Chris Draft, Sam Rogers, Will Overstreet, Matt Stewart, and pro bowler Keith Brooking, who had a career-high 212 tackles. Under Phillips, the Falcon defense was also second in the NFL with 39 takeaways. In week six, the Falcons' biggest turnover was at quarterback, when an injury took Michael Vick away from the offense. But Dan Reeves had confidence in backup quarterback Doug Johnson. Setting is Johnson, he has time, pumps once, now running out of the pocket, now looking, looking, pumps. Oh, yes, the football. Oh, yes. Nice, Doug oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. 
zone. Seymour thinks he's going to throw deep in the end zone and gets him up in the air. That's a great play. The Falcons focus their attention on disrupting the giant passing game. Falcons showing blitz. Here they come. Collins gets rid of the football. It is complete. The catch is made across the middle, and the ball is loose. Falcons come up with it. Two key turnovers and a fourth quarter touchdown help seal the win, putting the Falcons back on track at two and three. It was a taste of things to come. How'd you like to see this coming around the corner at you? Check that out. It's for the reason. As an athlete, Coach Dan Reeves was the epitome of old school play. When Michael Vick returned from injury, he was the picture of new school athleticism. Here comes the blitz. Vick, deep drop, in trouble. He'll keep the football, looking, pumps once. Watch him go. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mike Vick! Oh, what a play! What a scapability. That is bad stuff. 254-pound rookie T.J. Duckett also showed his stuff, scoring his first two NFL touchdowns. It's Duckett right side. Now it's a sprint toward the end zone. Duckett into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcon. Travis Hall, Ed Jasper, Patrick Kearney, and Gerald McBurrows led a defensive charge that did not allow the Panthers to cross midfield in the first half as Atlanta posted its first shutout in nine years. In week eight, Michael Vick faced his cousin, Aaron Brooks, in a battle of bloodlines. The Saints came marching into the game at six and one, but in the first half, it was the Falcons who paraded up and down the field. The big play, a home run by Warwick Dunn. Dunn had his best rushing day of the season with 142 yards. Touchdown, Falcons! I'll tell you, they've shocked the Saints with that drive. For the second week in a row, Vic rushed for 91 yards. But the game's outcome would depend on another set of legs. Three seconds left for the win. On the way is Jay Feely. It's long enough, and it is good! And the Atlanta Falcons have defeated the New Orleans Saints. What an awesome performance by the Falcons. Down to the last play. In 2002, Jay Feely established a Falcon record with 32 field goals. With the help of long snapper Derek Rackley, Chris Moore punted his way to a 38.7 net yard average, best in the NFL. Atlanta's punt coverage unit also ranked first in the league, thanks to Artie Ulmer, Kevin McAdam, John Dale Carty, Travis Jervy, and Brian Kozlowski. Newcomer Alan Rossum made his mark as a return specialist. He's to the 25, makes a move to the 30, 35, 40, uh, near side, 45, 50. It's a sprint, a foot race that Alan Rossum is going to win. Touchdown, Falcons, 92 yards, Alan Rossum. Woo! Having won three in a row, the Falcons were contenders. Their success was a surprise to everyone but themselves. Patrick Kearney, who led the team with 10 and a half sacks in 2002, harassed the Ravens all day. The defensive effort helped scoop up Atlanta's fourth consecutive win. Michael Vick had become the talk of the NFL, and in the second quarter, he victimized the Steelers' secondary. Oh, yes. Backing the grab, touchdown! Pittsburgh countered with two touchdowns, taking a 10-point halftime lead. Juggling catch, touchdown, 33 yards. We got him signed to do it, every snap. We got him signed to go hard and go fast and beat their ass for the next 30 minutes. We're going to win this. Let's win on three. One, two, three. In the second half, the Falcons fought back. And he gave this to Warwick Dunn, and Dunn has running room and more. He's to the 50, 45, 40. Now it's a foot race towards six. Far sideline, Warwick Dunn into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. <laughs> In 2002, Warwick Dunn scored nine times, none longer than his 59-yard touchdown in the third quarter. Still, Atlanta fell behind by 17 points in the fourth quarter, 
and needed a handful of magic to mount a comeback. All we need to do is get Mike to back the ball, baby. That's it. Let him work his magic. Solid protection from blockers Travis Claridge, Todd McClure, and Keenan Forney gave Vic a crease. With no receivers open, he made his move and tied the game. Mike Vick looking left, looking right, keeping the football, now trying to make a move to the outside. Yes! Fighting yes! The oh, yes! Touchdown, Mike Vick! In overtime, the Falcons' special teams came up big. Here's the snap, the hold, the kick is on the line, it's blocked! The game ended in a tie, extending Atlanta's unbeaten streak to five games. Arm made you stand up and had to throw up and run. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. In 2002, a man with 22 years of head coaching experience adapted to the skills of his 22-year-old quarterback. As a result, first-year starter Michael Vick made his first ever Pro Bowl. You can't say enough about Mike. He gave us a chance every single Sunday. For the all-important rematch with the Saints, Atlanta's rising star called out to Falcon fans. Hi, this is Mike Vick. We got a big game this Sunday against the New Orleans Saints. That's why we need the 12th man out there, making some noise at the Georgia Dome, cheering us on. Vick helped draw the second largest crowd in Georgia Dome history with his personalized phone message to season ticket holders. He then dialed up receiver Trevor Gaylor for a 74-yard touchdown. Vick burned the Saints with his arm. Then he did it with his legs. Here is the snap. It's to Mike Vick. He's trying to make the turn. Trying to get into the end zone. Leaping into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons! By sweeping their season series with the Saints, Atlanta sent a message to their NFC rivals. The Falcons had taken flight. By week 12, Atlanta had its sights set on the playoffs. Pete wants to throw, setting, looking, firing, and it's intercepted! Picked off by Keon Carpenter! Against Carolina, the Falcon defense forced six turnovers, had eight sacks, and allowed just 122 total yards. A 41-yard touchdown, an interception by Keon Carpenter. What a job by the Falcon defense. On offense, Atlanta was equally impressive. Straight drop, slipping, back up, now running, and buying time, skipping, hopping. Vick spread the ball around with ease, completing 79% of his passes. 20, 15, 10, spreading toward the end zone, five, leaping into the end zone. <laughs> touchdown, Warwick Dunn. What an unbelievable 31-yard touchdown strike. Oh. At the start of the season, some thought the Falcons were too young and inexperienced to succeed. Atlanta answered their skeptics and became one of the most talked about teams in the National Football League. The Falcons' season was bolstered by two victories over the Panthers, in which they outscored them 71 to nothing. With a 7-3-1 record, the Falcons had seized second place in the NFC South. They weren't about to take a step down against the Vikings. Once again, Michael Vick stepped up. While a 39-yard touchdown pass to Brian Finneran was inspiring, Vick was most impressive on the ground, setting the NFL's single-game rushing record for a quarterback with 173 yards. Vick will keep the football. He's to the 20. He's to the 15, the 10, and Vick into the end zone. Vick's third-quarter touchdown run tied the game. Then, in overtime, he took off on one of the most memorable plays of the season. Vic play action, setting, being chased, coming near side, keeping the football. 40, 35, 30, 25, 15, 10. Go, Mike Vic! This is over! Falcons. It's over! Yes! The Falcons hadn't lost a game in two months, an NFL best eight-game unbeaten streak. But in December, they lost their momentum 
and needed a victory over the Lions to salvage their first playoff appearance since 1998. Vic setting. He's looking, jumping around. Now setting, firing long. It's yes. caught by Clinton McCord. And a bang, bang play from Vic to McCord. Finneran is in the left slot. Vic wants to throw. Setting, looking, firing, and it's caught. Caught by Brian Finneran, who spins away from one tackler and into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. With nine wins, the Falcons made the playoffs and earned a return trip to Lambeau Field, site of their opening day defeat, a place where the Packers had never lost a postseason game. Good evening, everyone. It's prime time in Green Bay. It is cold, and it is the postseason. The Falcons are in the playoffs for the first time since their Super Bowl season run a few years ago. This is our show, baby. We ain't get hit by mistake, baby. We ain't get hit by mistake. The challenge, you know, that was a tremendous motivation for our football team. We wanted to be the first team that won a playoff game in Lambeau Field. Nobody thinks we can do it, but guess what? It's situation perfect. The Atlanta Falcons had prepared a solid game plan against the Packers, which manifested itself on the opening drive. With a little trickery and misdirection, the Falcons kept Green Bay off balance, moving downfield with surprising ease. Here is Vic wanting to throw, setting plenty of time, looks left, looks right, throwing, finding Sean Jefferson, touchdown Falcons! Falcons are on the board. What a great drive. That's huge, dude. Oh, let's have fun now, guys. The momentum started on offense, carried over to all phases of Atlanta's game. The defense swarmed and punished, pinning the Packers inside the 20 to set up a well-timed charge on special teams. Here's the snap, and Bidwell almost gets blocked. the block. He does it blocked. Falcons dive on the ball in the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Mark Simino is the man who comes through and gets the block on Bidwell, and the Falcons special teams deliver. Wow. The special teams struck again early in the second quarter when a botched Packer punt return put the Falcons back in business. Under center, and the give is to Duckett left side. Duckett tries yes. to work into the end zone. Yes, touchdown, Falcons! Yes. Duckett in for six, and the Falcons are up 20 nothing on the Packers here in the second quarter. Hey, there you go, there you go. The Packers threatened only once in the first half. Armed with four tries from the Falcons' doorstep, they did not get in. Defense by Keith Brooking over there for the Falcons. What a, a goal line stand this would be early in the game. Fourth and goal from the two yard line. Here is yeah. the game. The Falcons hold. Oh. Yeah. They get out on Drain at the five yard line. They hold. Ellis Johnson, the nose tackle, came to make the stick. What a goal line stand by the Atlanta Falcons. Whoa. By halftime, Atlanta led 24 to nothing. But the falling snow seemed to give the cold weather favorites a lift, and Green Bay rallied for an early second half score. To keep the pack at bay, the Falcons relied on the force of the men up front and the grace of the man behind them. With Bob Whitfield, Roberto Garza, and Todd Weiner guarding his wings, Michael Vick danced his way to a 12-minute Falcon advantage in time of possession. Near side with the football, in trouble, and Vick gets away from one. He's still on his feet. Now he cuts it to the right side. He's cut it to the middle. He's got the first down, and he's down at the 28-yard line. How did he do that? The few times Green Bay had the ball, Atlanta made them give it back, forcing five turnovers to secure one of the greatest upsets in playoff history. Fourth and 11 from the 42 out of the shotgun now. Here's Farr throwing downfield, and it is deflected and intercepted. And that may be lights out on the Packers tonight. And this team has beaten. The Falcons have, have done something that, well, nobody's done. History is made today. 
and they say we couldn't do it. You made history today. Right. Right. You did it 22 years old. Now stop and think about that. How many people make history at 22 years old? It's one of them. A week later in Philadelphia, Atlanta's magic ran out. Nick wants to throw. Straight drop, setting in trouble. He'll keep the football. He's got room. He's to the 15, 10, 5, finding the end zone. Touchdown, Mike Vick, oh, but hang on. There is a penalty marker at the 26-yard line, and I think it's coming back. The Eagles knocked the Falcons out of the playoffs, but could not shake the young team's confidence. This is a club that won 10 games in 2002. And in so doing, won the hearts of Atlanta. To be able to go in and play at home where you have fans behind you and not have the visiting team, you know, make more noise than you did, that was huge for us. In fact, the Falcons sold out every home game for the first time in 10 years. For such an overwhelming show of support, the players went out and thanked their fans by showing up unexpectedly around the city. See the cheese goes like that. Yeah, I got to make sure I do it right. You know, we got to keep all our customers happy. The mood is upbeat in Atlanta, where the Falcons unveiled new uniforms for 2003 and welcomed new faces to an organization moving forward. Among the new signings were hard-hitting safety Corey Hall and wide receiver Peerless Price. He is the final piece of an offensive attack that is already loaded with weapons. Anybody got anything? Anything new? Anything different? Mike Vick faking out everybody. Whoa, Whoa what a run! Up top bandage. Yes. Oh. Confident and determined, this is a team united in their efforts to return to the playoffs and pass the magic to 2003. 15, 10, running toward the end zone, 5, leaping into the end zone! This NFL Films production has been brought to you by the National Football League. The NFL is online at www.nfl.com.